Okay. <laughs> Salutations to folks. This is your fabulous leader, the Queen of Shade, coming at you with another special presentation. I truly am enjoying talking to people that inspire me, people that follow me. I follow them. And with having said that, I have an amazing, amazing group. That it's like they come as a group. There is two of them together <laughs> that I would love for you guys to meet. Um, I'm really excited about this because they're the first couple that oh. I have interviewed. Um, so, yes. yes. So, without further ado, say hello to Kurt and Carlos Har. Now, oh. wait and say hello, but you know what I just realized? I should have said it the other way. I should have said Carlos and Kurt, and I'm going to tell you why right now. Because, Carlos, I was following you before I was following Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on your page just now and I like because you know we'll get to that but there's an amazing <laughs> date coming up in you guys That's lives and we're going to get to that <laughs> and I went and I, I clicked and I'm like wait a minute I know this person and I'm like oh I met Kurt through Carl, like, yeah, but I reached out to Kurt <laughs> for the interview. So crazy. It's crazy. Anyway, we're here. Yes, all of us yes. With our animals. Yes. I should have brought my cat. Right. How are you guys? I should have, yeah. A yes. whole family affair, correct. Yes. yes. How are you guys today? We are doing very well. Yes. Thank you. How about you? I'm doing pretty well. It's been a long day, but I am. You know, I believe that uh, it, when you do something that you love and that you're passionate about, you, it's not working. Oh, yeah. And sure. uh, yeah, I have spent the last five and a half years of my life chained to my desk um, in this room as the queen of shade, only going out to use the lavatory and the grocery store, but <laughs> in here working, 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 working. So this is like a breath of fresh air because when I was doing the queen of shade, it was all me. You know, and you get you get used to that. But now yeah. it's not all me. Now I have co-stars. I have you, your husband to be, and Thank a dog. You. What's your dog's <laughs> name? What's your dog's name? Kova. Kova. Okay. Okay. So where are you guys hailing me from? Hmm. Where are oh, you guys? Sacramento. 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 Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Have you guys always lived in Sacramento? Like, are you from there, or did you migrate there? migrated actually okay. um you originally were from sort of the area right? kind, kind of kind of I, I went to uh i grew up originally in the uh, bay area and then i moved to sac for high school but then i went all the way over to uh to orlando for 10 years for uh, college and started off my nursing career and then finally i'm like now i want to go back home <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you're back home and that's good do you like i've never been to california how is sacramento Sacramento is, well, when I lived here in high school, I hated it because there's nothing mm. to do. It's, it's very, uh, it's quiet it's compared quiet. to uh, other cities. Yeah. Uh, but then after traveling and being in big cities, that's when I figured out I, I like to go to the party. I don't want to be in the party. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how, that's the nice thing about Sacramento is everything's a drive away. So like San Francisco is only about an hour and a half. If we're flying, like going doing a little bit of road trip about six hours to LA, eight hours to San Diego, and which we do regularly. Yeah, <laughs> like we're in our twenties. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, it's a nice place to stay and be chill and still go to the party. So we like that. Yeah. You know what? I just, was right in it. I just caught something. You guys, how long have you guys known each other? Three years. Three years. Three years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The way you were speaking, it 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 I got a fluster because I it felt like soulmates. Like you guys, like I was like, okay, have you guys known each other all of your lives? That's like, that's how it's been since day one, which right. is why yeah. the first day we met, it was just like just I mean, we did we talked for all so long. All day like we didn't stop. Night. It's like once yeah. we start talking, we couldn't and it literally it was every time I, I'm like, okay, I'm taking a nap. And I, as soon as I wake up, like an hour later. Hey, what are you doing? I was waiting for you to text me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, so it's been like that. It's it's been such a blessing to, yeah, to have yeah. found um, you know, my soulmate, our soulmate. Yeah. It's 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 yeah, I mean when you're when you're a a, a very strong, hopeless, romantic, needy lover who right. just wants to be around 
your other half all the time, it's, it's hard to find someone who wants that as well because most people just think that's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> or weird. It's not or annoying. Weird. Yeah, like, to have someone like, want to be around like, like, all the time. Not, yeah. And, but that's how he is with me. So yeah. we're, we're both that way with each other. And I think that stems from the fact that, like, we've, uh, I'm 12 years older than, than Kurt. Okay. Um, and so we have. You don't a lot look of, it. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> you know, got some yeah. a little bit of work done here and there, but you know. Uh, <laughs> a little nip, a little tuck, <laughs> you know. Work, you know. <laughs> um, but like, where I, where we feel, I should say, is that we've had so much lost time. Yeah. Um, that uh, uh, aside from that, what better uh, gift in life than to spend every memory that you could possibly have with somebody who you truly unconditionally love. Yeah. Um, and for me, I, I'm speaking for myself and I, but I'm sure I can speak for you too. That is the ultimate like blessing in, in life is to just be loved, but also love somebody unconditionally. Um, and, yeah. and just want to, smother him even though sometimes she's the same way oh yeah yeah if you can't tell she, i mean she's probably worse than, than we are like where she just can't get enough love right <laughs> that's Kova, great though, like, but, but you know what i love animals animals adapt to the vibe of the house so if you two are like that she's going to take on oh yeah spiritual yeah. No, as soon as we stop touching her she's like why see look she's like why are you not touching me <laughs> but we're the same way with each other so, <laughs> yeah, so we get it. why yeah. did you move your hand from my lap yeah oh <laughs> So, you know, you said something that really like made me think of Moulin Rouge, uh, the, 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 they said the greatest gift you'll ever know is to love and be loved in return. Mm -hmm. That's from Moulin Rouge. Like the kind of love that I'm witnessing, I have never experienced. And I pray that one day before I'm old and crotchety, cause I'm 39, <laughs> maybe one day you know when I decide to give up my tiaras and my microphone <laughs> that I may know what it's like to love someone so much that's why I asked you guys to come on because I just you know Kurt said to me he was like well listen if you want us to talk about us that's what we can do we talk about it you know we can talk about each other till we blew in the face the and I said <laughs> I, I said that's exactly what I want I'm, I'm here for it so with that being said there is a special date coming up October oh my God, 18th yes. of 2022. My grandmother was born the 17th of October. So that's very good. That's a Libra season. Balance. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's yes. a balance, the season of balance. Uh, can you tell us what 10, 18, 2022 will be? Oh my God. Uh, okay. It, and I'm not going to be emotional. Right. Uh, trust me, emotion is allowed. Emotion right. is allowed. Uh, all right so uh yeah it's gonna well since day one we've always been you know like uh we want to spend the rest of our, you know, our lives together mm -hmm. and um and we are making it official yeah finally uh, making it official so yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're uh going to it's originally the plan was to, to do small wedding but then after um after the events of the uh, fire and yes. then just the huge amount of uh, love that came from Koba, not in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the huge amount of love that just came from everyone. It just made us, uh, helped us to realize just how much, you know, family we have out there besides what's just, you know, blood, how many friends we have that we haven't even met yet. Uh, whereas now, instead of making it, you know, purely of, you know, or people we know and, and talk to every day it's like no we, we know and talk to people every day online too it's like people who you know look out for us check on us make sure we're doing well who helped us when we we're down and so now it's like no you guys get the invite as well it's like if, if this invite is, is now less about you know just keeping this little tight lip tight knit wedding and more so about just celebrating love and anyone who wants to come and do that with us celebrate love and celebrate our journey and you're more than welcome as so long now, as they're coordinated, as long as they're coordinated. Oh, that's right. Tone. Yes, thank you. Our <laughs> <tone. Yes. laughs> <laughs> wedding, wearing bright ass red or some bright purple color. or yeah. something. Yeah, no, it is earth tones. It is tropical colors. I am a a, a, a groomzilla. I will be respected. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you mess up my things. <laughs> I am a control freak, and everyone knows that. <laughs> but as long as she dress appropriate. 
separately, then yes, then you're welcome. You're, you're more than welcome. <laughs> and I'm going to put all of your links where they can contact you so they can yes. ask you, what should I wear? That's right. Yes. <laughs> because yes. you're not going to show up and mess up my day or oh, no, steal no. my shine. So, and so let, let me give you details about this wedding. Yes, uh, please. That was, please. that was supposed to be a small wedding, but it's not anymore. Um, so it's going to be in Maria Maya. How was my pronunciation? Wow. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mexico, <laughs> which is about 40 minutes uh, south of oh, Cancun, Cancun. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. about 30 minutes north of uh, Tulum. 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 Yes. Um, and so anyway, it's a currently uh, three hotel resort at the, the time of wedding. So it'll be five hotels. Anyway, all five resorts, inner resorts are included and it's all inclusive. All you can eat, all you can drink, even top shelf liquors, but not top shelf wine. So if you're wine, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but all you, can eat, all you can drink, uh, the, all the uh, activities and everything. We're going to do a bachelor party in Cancun on the Saturday beforehand. Uh, the wedding is at Tuesday. Um, you just, as far as booking, you just have to book beginning sometime after we book, but before the wedding. So like, for example, we were arrived on the 13th. And we're staying to the 20th. As long as you're before the 19th, you can stay as long as you want. So we have some coworkers who are like staying there for like two, three weeks just because they're using it yeah. as their, you know, fall vacation. Yeah. I'm like, I don't care. Just yeah, <laughs> come. Right. As long as you're at the ceremony, the rest just, just do you. It's all inclusive. And we had got these ridiculous rates like the the rooms you normally go for wow. 1200 a night right and we got them the cheapest room you can get with us is 140. Are you, so, wait a minute 140 hold on 1200 hold on hold on hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, i gotta doing? check i gotta check my shoe because i think my shoe yeah. costs more than one <laughs> <laughs> yeah the one the one thing that we will say that uh covid did give us was these amazing yeah. rates no yeah. we, we checked, in, yeah. We checked oh, yeah. now and they're back up to 800, 1,000 per night. Per night. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. So you see how everything I, happens. The opportunity again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, like, he's, uh, like you said, it's all inclusive. So anything that you want to eat or drink, it's included. And then some of the suites actually come with a butler. Um, so yeah, yeah, if you book at uh, Generations, yeah. <laughs> uh, which is the main resort, uh, that's actually a resort we're having wedding at. Uh, that one, each room comes with their own butler. Mm -hmm. So you don't do anything. Yeah, yeah. It's just, we got to steal. We got such a good steal. Bills because obviously if a butler is doing stuff for you, you need to tip. Yes. <laughs> wow. So like when you guys said, okay, we're going to make this official, we're going to get married. How did, did Mexico, was that always where you wanted to get married? No, no. no. So we, tell me, uh, tell me, I, tell I, me. I am, I am, uh ridiculous when it comes to Christmas like I'm that person who does like months in advance and I'm like I'm up all night on top of roof putting like I'm ridiculous about Christmas so what we're going to do was we're going to do a Christmas wedding uh and uh and just, just do it in December so it's like mm -hmm. you know that's both worlds have a wedding have a Christmas and so we're planning to do something at Lake Tahoe and everything and then realize that for the type of my taste, yeah, America's very expensive. expensive. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, I wouldn't say America. I would say you are. No, it's <laughs> your country. It's no, it's the country. The country. <laughs> he said, "No, it's the country. It's not me." <laughs> okay, so we'll go with that. I'm like the only way that we can make you know this work is if we do it somewhere in foreign, it's a little cheaper. And so then he took me to uh, Mexico for my birthday, uh, and the whole time I'm looking around. And I'm enjoying my birthday, but at the same time, I'm thinking to myself, like, hmm, this is a possibility for our wedding. Mm -hmm. And so by the time they end of the trip, I'm like, hey, what do you think about doing a wedding here? He's like, hell yeah. yeah. I'm like, I'm like, perfect. I'm going to get married to my Mexican in Mexico. Right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, I remember there was that, uh, we went to the wine tasting. The it was venue. freaking amazing. That one is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was also in the middle of the desert. We're like, no. Imagine this. We don't want the crazy. desert. We want the tropics. <laughs> <laughs> right. You want the ocean. Well, and no. The, oh, well, yeah. that's, and, and I, I sweat oil. That's, you know, it's how I'm going to keep young forever. It's my natural ability to sweat oil, but it doesn't look good. Oh, you're me. calling me out on my, my Botox? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> I sweat Botox, so there, right? <laughs> I sweat liquid Botox. Thank you. It's just natural oil. <laughs> but it doesn't look good in pictures. No, no. No, I just have to constantly just always have like this napkin in my back pocket that I'm going to dab yourself. That's when we right. go to clubs and stuff. And I'm always just shining. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's our wedding in a nutshell, our wedding day. October 18th, Mexico, oh. tropical wedding, earth tones, all inclusive. And it's going to be amazing. And we not we need to start working on our uh, 
uh, or dance because I told you it's a two part dance and I want us to strip at the end. Listen, he said, I want us to strip. You well, both have the like, bodies to do it. You both have the bodies to do it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that means I gotta get really get into it. Okay, all right, we're we're gonna yeah, strip. I got the song. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna strip. We you heard, heard it here first. first. I, yeah, <laughs> we heard that was exclusive. Well, I heard it. I heard it here first too. Right? Oh, he said I heard it here first. So tell me, do you guys travel a lot like together? Do you? Where's have you get like been like overseas or like do you guys travel or is this um, the beginning? Of- this is just right. This is just the beginning because when we first met, it was pre-COVID. So we did like some, uh, you know, traveling here locally in California. Um, yeah. But then, you There's know, a lot we, of trips like San Diego, mm-hmm. LA, uh, up to the Redwood, uh, yeah, to the Redwoods, and uh, then we did some trips up a little further up uh, to Portland, mm-hmm. went to Oregon. Redmond, that's right, yeah, yeah, different parts of Oregon. Uh, but yeah, it's been just a lot of traveling and road trips in the uh, in the states. Mm-hmm. You know, just because of all the COVID restrictions, we wanted, we had plans to right. do some major traveling, but then we had to cancel most yeah. of them. Yeah, and then and then right right you know after COVID hit, we um we had the the, the, the fire. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because so, that's like right once uh, we start getting some relief from uh, mm-hmm. you know the COVID. Like I mean, we're still in COVID, but things start opening up. Right. Back in the beginning of summer, we start making all these plans and we start booking a ton of shoots. Uh, we were gonna get back into uh, go-go dancing uh, uh-huh. because we're both retired go-go's. Yeah, yes. uh, we, hung up, we hung up the go-go boots a while back. We're like, yeah. we're like we, we should do it again. Yeah, as a we, couple. yeah, we both did right. it as individuals. Now let's, you know, and, yeah, and, so, and we, we talked to a few promoters who were willing to book us as a couple. They right. Look, our deal, we wanna be on the same box, on the same stage, you know, we do, always do things together. Like, yeah, it's like you got people like your 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 deal, so yeah. <laughs> they wanna do it. So we're gonna, start traveling uh doing go-going and stuff and you know in addition to our careers and and then god said no you're doing too much at once <laughs> <laughs> he shut it down he he's said, like i'm gonna shut this down you need to slow, you need to slow things down <laughs> so tell us tell us about the fire oh my god so uh, i was doing too many things at once being being a mo- overly multitasker like usual um and so it was it was Right in between work, I mean, I was like, I had a couple of days I worked and then I was off. And then we had two photo shoots coming up. We had one for Mr. S. Leather mm-hmm. uh, and then, and for Folsom uh, Street Fair. And then we had another photo shoot coming up for something else. We had a lot of stuff going and on. And then we had a, a dance kit coming up. Mm-hmm. And so I'm packing for all our stuff because we're leaving in like two days. And now I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have two days of work and then we're gonna leave so I can have time to pack. So I'm packing, I'm doing his meal preps because it's his first day back. Uh, to physically go into work yeah, after right. working from home because of COVID. So I'm doing his meal preps. I'm doing laundry. There's laundry on it to cash out folding up. So I'm like doing, I don't know, so many different things at once. And I'm, I have this uh, alcohol reduction, this lemon alcohol reduction on the stove that's going. So I'm making two different things. I'm making this uh, drink, this uh, lemonade drink. And I'm also, I'm making the hollandaise. And I have literally this trays and everything spread across the counters with these lamb chops and asparagus. Uh, so making good meal preps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and I didn't realize I'm thinking okay, before I, I once see uh, I'll probably it's hot enough, it's gonna steam or something. So let me know it's hot. But no, it literally went from I turned it on, and next thing I know, the pot's just whoosh, it's on fire. And so instead of just you know, in hindsight, just saying screw the house and just calling 911 right from the get go, <laughs> I'm like, no, let me. I, I'm like, I can fix this. I can save. I can save it. And so. I turn a uh, I turn the stove off quickly, put the top on, and I start looking for a fire extinguisher because I knew I I am somewhere. I, I remember buying two of them. I just because I'm so uh, in panic mode, I can't I can't re- uh, remember where I put them. So I'm looking in the cabinets, I'm looking in the pantry, and to be honest, I'm pretty sure I probably even looked right at it because I'm, I'm such in panic mode and it was in a white box. I probably looked like right through it. And so anyway, I come back to the pot and I see flames are literally lifting the lid up. It's coming from the side. So I'm like, okay, that's not working, even though it's all been smothered. So I'm like, okay, let me just, you know, pull it to the sink and maybe let the heat die down while it's in the sink. Uh, because it's a safe space and sink, just let it go there. And so I try to drag the pot into the sink, but then it starts leaking some alcohol onto the counter. So now it's like now on fire. So I'm like, okay, that's not working. And so then somehow. I lowered a pot onto the ground because now I'm thinking, again, I'm making all these really retar- like just ridiculous, freaking irrational decisions in panic mode, trying to save the house. So then I'm trying to drag the pot across the floor 
uh, again, leaking a little bit of alcohol, but luckily those alcohols are a uh, little bit of fire going out. So I'm, uh, and as you can see in a video on my Instagram, I'm dragging across the floor. Uh, I'm trying to get to the backyard because right as soon as you get to the backyard, it's just huge holes. So I'm like, I get to the backyard, I'll hose it down, dilute the alcohol, it'll be fine. I'll say to the house, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I keep telling myself it's going to be fine. <laughs> and then right once I get the pot all the way to the uh, back door, I'm like, boom, I made it. Yeah, there's some fire behind, there's some, a little burnt floor, but it could be worse. So I'm right at the back door. I go to try to get the pot out, and then it just, it, 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 it explodes again. It just goes, boof. And you see it in video, literally the fire catches, it just explodes. The whole door catches on fire, and the fire engulfs me which I didn't realize at the time. I thought the fire had just went up to my legs. It wasn't until I looked at security uh, footage that I realized that the fire engulfed my entire body, which makes sense because in the hospital, I had a little burn in my nose and two little burns in my ears. And I couldn't figure out how they got up there, but it's because the fire went over my whole body. So anyway, mm. it engulfed me. I immediately ran to the bathroom, ducked my, uh, turned the water on, rinsed off uh, my legs and everything, which when I lost my, my wedding ring, unfortunately, that came off. Uh, and rinsing off everything. And I came back one last attempt to try to find the fire extinguisher. <clears throat> Couldn't find it. And I noticed at that point that like the smoke is just filling the house. And I, and I think to myself, if I inhale any bit of the smoke, I'm going down and I'm done. Screw it. And at that point, I finally said, screw the house. I ran out, ran to the street, uh, yelled for my neighbors. No one was home. No one, not a single person. Uh, so I'm running back and forth, uh, trying to get someone to teach down the street because my phone's in the house. Uh, and I didn't realize that the ADT uh, alarm had automatically signaled to a fire department. So I'm trying to get away. Can't find anyone. Um, finally, I find uh, one of my neighbors drives in. She calls 911 for me. Uh, and my dog, she's, I put her, she was in the backyard. And I realized it's spreading now past the house. So I go back to the backyard and literally there's fire going across the field and she's over in the corner, just not knowing what to do. So I have to run around the fire, uh, grab her and then we run back out <coughs> into the front of the house. Um, fire department's still in the way. Uh, she, the, our neighbor, she lets me uh, go into her house to just basically let my legs run underneath her water faucet because I didn't notice because I was in, uh, freaking out and just trying to save the dog and run around that their skin literally falling off of my uh, lower legs like like slime just 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 like going just just falling off uh, and she's filling up with like just fluid and pus after the burn so I'm resting my leg in her, her kitchen making a mess so she, uh, she, she lets me use her front yard so I'm in the front yard uh, rinsing my legs with the uh, hole she's trying to keep it from burning because now that the panic is settling uh, like, yeah, the house is burning, but I'm not in the house anymore. My dog's not in the house anymore, so I'm a little more settled. I'm starting to feel the pain. And holy shit. <laughs> that, that, I mean, everyone has burnt something on them at, at least once, whether it's a finger or arm or something. And just think about how much that one little burn has, you know, about a first degree or second degree burn. I had third degrees on both lower legs, second and first degree on my arm, and first degree uh, my, on my uh, ears and nose and oh my god it was just that that fire that 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 scolding pain it's just that intensity it's like I've never experienced a true 10 until I've experienced this and I'm like I, I made a joke that same day to uh, uh, Carlos I'm like this kind of changes when I rate people's pain as a nurse people tell me they're having a 10 out of 10 or sitting there on their cell phone now I'm just gonna roll my eyes out <laughs> <laughs> like I've experienced a 10 <laughs> and 10 it's like I they can I remember once they which by the way I try, I actually tried to AMA myself off the ambulance because Carlos wasn't there again the whole I can't do anything without him by my side anymore I wouldn't even, wouldn't even go to the hospital but because it was uh, my hospital uh, I live so close to work the same people who responded to EMS uh, they knew me because they go to my hospital because I work in the emergency department there and it's like I said, no, we you don't have a choice. I'm like, no, I have a, it's my right to AMA. <laughs> He's like, no, Kurt, you don't get it right. We're taking you. Uh, just call your husband, uh, call David, which is my big brother who works with me as well. He's like, call him, whoever you need to call. We'll make sure they get you the doors, but you need to go right now. You don't understand how bad this is. Like, they're like, you do understand, but you're not realizing because it's you how bad it is. And as soon as I lay down that stretcher, that's when all the pain surge changes. Then I was at rest. 
and they started giving me like high, like literally max doses of fentanyl, nothing. If fentanyl's a very, very strong opioid and it did nothing. And then they did morphine, morphine, it was just like, they might as well have, might as well have given me water. It was just like, I'm getting strong drugs. And I've never, by the way, never get, been getting any of these. I've never been in surgery or anything. So to go from being completely opiate naive to getting strong drugs and having not touch me, oh my God. But, uh, it didn't end there because right after that, we had to deal with all the, the uh, drama that we had next hospital we were at, which you can see my Insta video, Instagram video, you see uh, all the negative things that happened at the uh, next yeah. hospital we went to. Mm -hmm. But then luckily, uh, the hospital that I work at literally freaking saved me, saved my life. Uh, yeah, they they uh, all bent over backwards. My uh, manager, my coworkers there to get me into the hospital because they, they're not a burn specialist. They weren't someone who would normally accept me as a patient. It was literally doing me a favor because uh, they could have easily denied it, but they made it work. The doctor there, the, uh, the, the chief, like everyone, the, the house supervisors, like I didn't realize like so many people uh, had my back uh, because if I would have had to stay at the hospital, I was at, it, it could have been a very, very different outcome, unfortunately. But fortunately, we have a lot of people who love and care about us and who have been making sure that we get through this both uh, medically, financially, spiritually, emotionally, every way that people can be there for us to have. And we are yeah. so freaking grateful. <laughs> yes, thank you. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, just day one, as you saw in our post on Instagram, where you know, our friends were coming in and giving us, bringing us food and they decorated our room. Yes, all the pride. I saw that. I saw the pride. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. the love. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 That, was our, that was our friends at work. And it's like every nurse that came in room was like, wow, we've never seen a, such a best of hospital room. <laughs> like, well, yeah, my, my friends, like, if I'm going to have to be in here, they're going to make sure it represents her. And they're like, well, they're like, we're, you're our gayest friends. So, <laughs> Yeah, we got us a little rainbow K and C for us, or like light stuff yeah. so that I can put in my room. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And then so like there's a part, there's a point when I wasn't able to have Carlos with me for about 10 days at uh, the burn center. I remember that was one of my favorite things was I had my uh, K and C letters and so it can make me think about because of the C. And I had this uh I hit a picture of him right next to my uh bedside, very uh a uh, racy picture. It was just him in underwear. Oh, the one in the, in the hospital? Yeah, oh, yeah. Which you're, you can totally see your bulge. But <laughs> that's right. I remember that one. That's the picture I wanted at my bedside. <laughs> even, uh, doc, even the doc, yeah, even the doctor was like, like everyone was came in and kind of stopped. Was yeah. like, who, who is that? And they're like, wait, like, that's he's like, like that's is, that, is that you? Is that your? That's, I'm like, yeah, that's that's. Him. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, but yeah, that's, I, that's all of him. <laughs> but yeah. And at the time, it was uh, the photo was from a photo shoot that we had done, and so we had lost everything, so we didn't have any photos but those. And yeah, we were like, and, and I mean, had those because we just did we photo just, shoot, so we just had yeah, had so we still prints. had we had yeah. They actually, with the prints were delivered to us, um, like, and that's right, right, after we, the fire, right yeah. after. So that's the only thing we had. So we're like, oh, well, we have those are the only pictures we have of each other. I mean, so well, they have to go up, and no, I still would have been my first choice. <laughs> That's right, tell him it would have still been your first trade. It would have been mine too. You should see my phone. <laughs> you should see my phone. I tell like, I have a 74-year-old grandmother. If my phone ring, I'm like, Nana, just leave it right there. Don't, 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 don't you're not gonna like what you see. And she yeah. do, she do anyway. She be looking right. Because <laughs> I have right? so many, like I have so many guys that I can I don't know how many times I have to tell a coworker that you can't swipe. In a gay man's phone, you can't right. just, sure you you never kid. learn. Don't never, do yeah. this. Like, yeah. like literally, the, <laughs> just yeah, do this. Nice just oh, yeah. do yeah. this. Yeah. 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 It's just like, here's this. a picture. Here's a nice picture of me and Carlos. But if you do this, you're going to get yeah. a not so nice picture of me and Carlos. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. it's nice. You're just oh, not, going, just, to, yeah. you're just right. not <laughs> going to feel yeah. about it how yeah. I feel yeah. yeah. about it. Might be a little more than. Than what you, <laughs> you bargain for, oh, right? Yeah, exactly. That's something. So you guys have really so get this being together, finding your soulmate. You guys were tested beyond human. Oh, oh capacity. my God! Whew. Yeah, yeah. Oh, people have say, no idea. I would, say, <laughs> yeah. I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it started with. I mean, we were we literally had just got uh, together, uh, and and we got uh, we both got COVID in November. Yeah. Um, so right off the bat, it, I mean, it, and it took us down. It took us down for a month. 
Yeah. Oh no, um, even before we, that, the fact right. that two months after we got together, the the country went on quarantine. Yeah. And so you know, you have all these, these couples where it's just like just like, you know, we need some to, to experiment with or some long time and slowly coming together. Oh, I there were there was none of that for us. Oh, it I was literally like, it was not not only that we you know, yeah. because of, I, I, I'm very much so come and move in, even though we just got together. <laughs> well, that was but, a universe, though, too. I felt like for, for like, you know, that was universe saying, hey, oh, you guys want to spend nothing but time together yeah, and only together. Here's COVID. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Here's yeah. COVID. Bam, there you, like, there you go. Now you got all the time in the world. Like a month Which, later, we moved yeah. in, and then a month after that, it was it COVID. Was COVID. And, he, and he's like, oh, yeah. I'm working from home. I'm like, oh, I get to see you all the time. All the time. All the time. All the time. Yeah. And so we went through those growing pains of having someone in your space all, all the, the time. time. Yeah. Right, right, off, right from the beginning. Right, right from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. So we, uh, but you survived it. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, we did. <laughs> oh, yes. I, I definitely. I, I mean, mean, grew and big big immensely. Survived it, grew, put rings on it. Yes. Oh, yeah. And I, th- I think that ultimately it was just, uh, you know, being uh, just respect over everybody's. Uh, not so much space, but individuality. No, like, I, I just respect them being like, yeah. And just being like, hey, okay, you know, we don't, we don't, because we're like any other couple, we don't always agree on things. Right. But we find the middle ground. More OCD than he is. Very much so. Like, you know, um, I'll be, there's a space for everything. And, and he, he, do, he does things like, actually, I'm looking at it right now. He did it again. He comes in the house and he puts uh, his jacket over a chair, even though I clearly have a space in the closet that's for the jacket. <laughs> You know, I don't know these things. So I don't want to start an argument here. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's, there are certain things that I'm like, okay, shit, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna not do the dishes anymore. He doesn't need to do the dishes oh, oh, you're vindictive. And, yeah, you're vindictive. yeah. No, but this, this, no, it has to. It, the only way I can make, make it not bother me is if it blows out. I'm like, okay, I don't do the dishes because so, but I'm gonna do all the little OCD things around the house just and not complain, not be like, oh, you left your shoes or you left your jacket or I literally just washed the sink and there's hair all over the damn sink. I just do it. I just clean it up now. It's the, ba- it's it's, the balance. It's, it's the balance. Right. There's a balance. See? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, it's balanced. Yeah. But yeah, I so love, you're get I love right, this. I love yeah. this. I love having you on because this is what I wanted to see. And I'm going to be honest. I got into starting to want couples because I'm 39 years old. I've never had a boyfriend. Ever. I've had a lot of sexual escapades. I was young. Um, I lived with bipolar type one. So, you know, bipolar type one, you get a lot of mania and you yeah. do a lot uh-huh. of things. That's, so that's I did a lot of, of things, but no, I've never had that's, a boyfriend. I, I, remember, I remember 21 years ago being in college uh, for biology. I fell in love with a football player there and he fell in love with me. And we, we were courting, we would talk to each other like six in the evening till four in the morning every night. But, you know, then I got sick and had to leave and he had to, he forgot that he was straight. <laughs> and he went, he went on There's and, that. you know, yeah. So once, I, once I was out of sight, out of mind, he had to go back to his regular schedule program. So I never, after him, I just never, I never had that again. And I always... I kind of like, I saw, I had a standing arrangement for eight years, mm-hmm. but I could not get the, the older gentleman. Now, mind you, I'm 39. This older gentleman is older mm-hmm. than I am. And I just could not get him. I could not maneuver him. And as a Libra, that's very difficult because we're good at maneuvering <laughs> people and things and situations. I could not maneuver him into the boyfriend, you know, uh, lane because he just didn't want to mm-hmm. be. Yeah. yeah, but um, I asked you on because that's why I said nothing. I just wanted to watch it because I feel like, especially with us being LGBT, um, I feel like visibility and inclusion are everything. And I oh, feel I like agree. you know you have people. What about the kids? What about the kids? No, 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 no. Y'all have been shoving sex scenes down all children's throats. Y'all are oh, going yeah. to take an hour of me watching a couple love each other and say what is positive about each other and talk about what they've been through and how much they love them and their same sex wedding. You're getting it all. But yeah. like, like, yeah, <laughs> like, but that's the point. Like, I, I am so, th- I, I just want to say thank you because this is touching me. Like, I'm trying not to get emotional, but like, it, it is, a lot of men, a lot of men resign ourselves to just the sex. Yes, yes. And we discuss that all the time. We discuss yes, that all the time. <laughs> Yes, yes. And it's, and it's like, and honestly, 
It's fear. It's fear. Do I allow myself to open up and be vulnerable, tell this guy that I like him more than just cool, it's good, or do I jump 100% in? And it, it really doesn't matter what background you come from, because once you are in the LGBTQ community, we meet, like one thing I love about our community is it is the great equalizer. So mm -hmm. you can have a man of means and you can have a, a, a kid coming out of the hood. We meet at spaces that are designed to meet and you can you can meet anybody in our community. That is so true. It doesn't matter what their so occupation true. is and probably go to bed with them before you even know what they do. Or, or their name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wasn't trying to go there. Not that we have experience right. with that. Or their oh, real no, name. No, no, yes. No, no. Or their real name. All right. <laughs> You're right. Or their real name. Speaking, y'all, y'all do. These are your real names, right? <laughs> but, yeah, but no, really, no, yeah. but really, like it is so beautiful to me to see. And I have a couple of other uh, couples coming on, but it is so beautiful to see how you support each other. You even got teary eyed because you're thinking about this is the man I love, and he got hurt, and you know, and you know, even before we started the interview, you were being so gracious. You're like, I'm sorry, we're late. I got to wrap his wounds. And I'm like, I sent you a voice message so you could hear me, not just read it. I'm like, take your time, take your time, do what you need to do. I'm here, like, take your time. And like, one thing that I, I really loved about your page was that I saw except when you were speaking, I actually went to your page while I was waiting and I saw both videos. I saw the video when you asked to leave the first hospital, they left the IV in your arm and I saw you talking about that. And then the next video I saw was your room done up well. I saw the KC, I saw the flag, I saw the, you know, the love and the outpouring of love that you both received. And that just, I was just like, you know, you, you know, we go through things and I've been through a lot, especially with mental illness, but I've had 14 years of therapy and I was going to ask you, I know you guys are having some kind of therapy behind this whole burn. Yeah. 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 Because, you know, and, and, and it works like it works. It works. Like people don't understand how valuable these kind of exchanges talking period really helps us because once we hear ourselves say it out loud, our, like it's like our spirit starts to kind of acclimate to it. It's like, oh, okay, well, I, yeah. I heard myself say it. So I guess yeah. I got to kind of stick to it or stand by it or do this or do that. And I just, I just love, I love you guys. Like, I love you guys. So we actually much. got really blessed. We have a, 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 one of our friends, he's a professional, uh, uh, therapist, mm -hmm. uh, actually hypnotherapist too. <laughs> he does it wow. all. <laughs> yeah. And so he, he's, he's been helping us both out Very much yeah, so. a lot. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. got me to go to some places and break through some different some different things that I needed to. Right. So, yeah. And, you know, I love that you guys talked about, because I read the caption too. I, I'm one of those people. I read captions and look at the sexiness at the same time. I want to, you know, I want to see it all. Yeah. It's all in. So you talked about, you know, the people reaching out to you and the people, your chosen family. And I'm big on that. I have a lot of chosen family. My, my brother, oh, yeah. like I'm a strange big brothers are chosen big brother. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Like I'm estranged from a lot of my family. I got siblings that are literally two years under me and I don't speak to them. And it's just like, but the power of a chosen family, the power of needing to be who you are, um, needing to be accepted for who you are. And then you get to the point where it's no longer needing to be accepted. This is who I am. And if you don't like that, there's the door. And yeah. then some people, take the door. <laughs> yeah. And then some people take the door and other people stay. Um, I'm going to do something different here. Kurt, I want you to tell me what Carlos's favorite color is. <laughs> his favorite color is blue he took it <laughs> we used to my favorite color used to be blue as well but but you know we like to do this whole matching coordinating thing uh-huh uh, and sometimes and blue it, just looks a lot better okay whatever Red uh, is a color. <laughs> sometimes we you know instead of matching we want to coordinate so we do this color thing yeah and matching songs did. Basically, yeah. <laughs> you said go go dancers, so I'm like matching thongs, yeah. And so he wore blue, and I were, now wear red, so now I'm forcing that's my favorite color. But that's your not, favorite color is not the red, yeah. But it's oh, not, but it kind of is, it, you, you <laughs> made it that way, it, it, yeah. Uh, look at the fight, look at the fight, look what I did, <laughs> Carlos. Yes, what's Kurt's favorite food? A favorite food, uh huh. 
There Look at him looking at you like, if you get this wrong, I, I swear. Right. He, there isn't just a favorite food. He just loves food in general. We both uh-huh. love food. Really? Um, one, oh, yeah. And yeah, that's one, what that look was. I was curious what you said because I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's everything. I'm like, I like food. <laughs> Period. <laughs> um, and uh, so, yeah, there isn't really like, it's not like Thai or, yeah. or sushi or Mexican food. I get a mood. So food. It's just a mood. It, it Like, yeah, yeah, it goes from like, we, yeah. Uh, so there's not just a specific type that he likes. He just, we love it all. I mean, yeah. I, yeah, I don't think that even for myself, I don't have like a favorite. Oh, like, you're my little picky. You I, every, <laughs> if, I, if I could roll up a burrito on a pizza and then like top it up with some like sour cream, <laughs> have like a muffin or a maybe like, like sometimes a when we're both have a plate, I'll, 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 I'll realize this is a big plate. I should stop eating now. And so I'll say it out loud. I'll say, we probably had enough to eat. I'm gonna stop eating, <laughs> and I'll push my plate aside and just kind of look at him. I don't, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, you know, be one of those oh, it has to say you have to do this. But I'm just, you know, maybe you'll make the right decision. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm, yeah, so, I'm influencing you. Yeah, so right? Right? maybe, so you know, they say lead by example. So if I say, oh, you know, we like having abs. I'm gonna push on Kata's side. But I've had enough. Good for you. Maybe. <laughs> good for you for showing that that this. Well, I said good office. for you, baby. Right. Good for you. Because <laughs> I was taught that if it's on your plate, you do not waste food. Right. You hey, you eat that. You put right. saran wrap on it and you make it a second meal. No. Yeah. That's why you make actually make sure that no, you have what enough about when for you get the meal. later and you want to have a snack. Oh, that's a you know, that's what you have a second meal, and then you're looking at my plate. Because I have leftovers and you sure. don't. Well, th- I figured that you stayed that for us. No, that's not what it is. It's not an us thing. That's mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's an us thing. <laughs> I see. I see. I see. Which one of you is more romantic? Oh, that would be you. Yeah. Hands down, that would be you. Like, I try, I, I get in my little romantic states mm-hmm. and do certain things. Um, like I'm big on flowers. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Like I love giving uh, Kurt roses, and uh, and especially for like, just shoot, just just because. Yeah. Um, he'll come home and they'll be, you know, when we had her home, <laughs> uh, he'll come home and be like, oh, there's a you know bouquet of roses, and and I try to you know make it look nice and pretty, you know, like uh, in the bouquet and stuff. Uh, once I put it on the, in the vases, but you know, you'll get to like, the like, you'll get straight to the point. Of being romantic me i'm about the build-up part of being right. romantic so for example you know you'll well, just, every you'll just be like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a massage yeah. me it's like i'm gonna you're gonna walk in and there's pedals on the floor there's candles lit all over the freaking house which maybe i shouldn't do it anymore oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there's candles lit all over the house there's an actual massage table in the middle of the room with professional massage tables with, with uh, massage Ooh, tables don't forget my chocolate covered strawberries yeah, yeah. yeah. chocolate covered strawberries and the oils and they had the music player it was that or there's a time yeah, when so he does the extra stuff the extra stuff yes. so when i had the remember that one time when i waited for you to hit the parking lot and as soon as you hit the parking lot I turned on Daddy's Home. Yeah. That song by Usher. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And I, and I had this cute, uh, this cute little uh, leather jock. Oh, it's cute, uh, huh? I would say, I would say provocative. Uh, with this, my, Very with, racist. My, with my, with my, <laughs> leather, my leather hat and my chain collar mm-hmm. and, um, you know, just the setup on a, on a counter. And I was just, you know, ready on the, on the couch. <laughs> Just twerking. Being super romantic, twerking. <laughs> okay, I love these man twerking. And he just walks in in his suit. He listens to music. Daddy's home, and he didn't have to ask questions. He knew. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I'm a little that. slow, but there's still certain things that I'm like very like keen. So to. I take it your honeymoon is going to be quite interesting. Oh yeah, no, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I got plans for you. Right. Oh well, okay. <laughs> quite interesting. Very afraid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So tell me, um, and then I'm going to let you go, but tell me, I want to know now, because I know you've probably talked about this, but probably aren't solid on it yet. Do you want children? Oh, we get that all the time. We, um, yes, the yes, answer is yes. yes. The answer is yes, we want children. Um, and so that's not the part of being solid on the, the there's two big things. One. The gender is is it's a timeline. Yeah, um, it's because um, we we want to be absolutely amazing dads, and part of that is making sure that we, we know 
it's like, especially when you make the choice to become a parent, yeah. it's it's no longer you two. It's that the you know it's you being there for your for your child. Hence, Copa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and so we want to make sure that we're able to give our our child everything and anything that they want or need. Uh, and so we want to make sure that we've had enough time to right. get that from each other uh, first. Right. You know, because we're we're still a new relationship. We're only. Yeah. Uh, going on three years in so it's like we want to give ourselves some time to to do all this stuff you gotta get back to go-going you gotta get back to go-going you gotta dance you gotta be doing that and still you know trying to manage following it's like no we want to get through that point in our our life Mm -hmm. and then um go into our fatherhood but you know what i love you know one thing i did love starting out in the projects and then being taken to the suburbs is all the all my friends parents were older it yeah. wasn't so much of a rush. Yeah. We were like their moms were 40, 50 years old. And it was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna be around, you know. But they took care of themselves. So yeah, yeah. You know, right. exactly. Like, and which is a we need to yeah. take care of ourselves. Yeah. And and we're I have to say, and I have to say this, us being LGBT members and me, I'm just a transvestite. I'm not transgender, so I'm a man. So us being men, <laughs> I mean, we get to we we gonna be around for a while. We don't we don't mm-hmm. fall apart. Like we can yeah, I remember I somebody said to me right? when they asked me if I wanted kids, they were like, Well, you know, you like you can have children in your, your 60s as long as and it shoots right, yeah. right, oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Right. And that's so. that's ultimately what the goal is, is to yeah. not just give our child uh the financial means to be successful in life and, right. and just be but more the emotional yeah. and what it really takes to be a good parent. Yeah. yeah. Um because it is work. It is it's, it, it's yeah. a lot of work. We we have a lot of family members that have you know children yeah. and and um and we see it's not just the, oh, you know, like you know, uh, take them to school and drop them off. And then, right. oh, it's, it's the providing the love that they really need to flourish. Yeah. Right. Um, right. And, and right now we're just, there. right. And right now we are, like Kurt said, we're a new relationship, fairly new. Um, and I still haven't gotten enough of you. I, right. I, mean, I am very, I am very needy and I am very selfish. I have a hard time sharing time. you with Koba sometimes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, Don't uh, give me that look. <laughs> She's done it hard. Um, so yeah, so we just we just want to make sure that we are ready. Yeah. You know what? I want to say this. Enjoy each other. That's the most because that's the most beautiful thing. Okay, I gotta say this. Us being gay, we weren't we aren't really breeders. <clears throat> Yeah, <laughs> not really we don't really have sex to procreate. We have sex for pure we try though. Pleasure. We really try, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We try. We try all day, all day. every day, multiple times. Right. Like it is right, right. Anything else. right. Like, oh, man, <laughs> but we're, we're not, not really that. here for that. Like we're not really here for that. Our sex is pleasure. Our sex is exactly. fun. Our sex is enjoyment. So enjoy each other and continue to love. I see that you guys have a page together. Our love a more unconditional on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like, I just, I am so glad that you guys spent this time with me. I'm going to watch, you know, what's so crazy. I'm going to watch this back and cry. (laughs) (laughs) No, because it's so beautiful. I'm not, I'm not one of those people. Oh, I don't want to see like, no, I want to see more of this because there are so many young gay boys that are not being included. And I remember puberty and I remember my hormones raging and I couldn't go to my uncles or my dad or anybody mm -hmm. and say, while every young man was experimenting with girls, I couldn't say I wanted to experiment with guys. So then being so hard up until I could get to college and you Mm -hmm. would like, oh God, I just don't, I want us to be able to talk about it. I want us to be able to see it. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. yeah, enjoy it. And you guys, like, and I love how you said it. No, we don't always agree on everything. We're men. Men are territorial. Yeah. Men have no. to Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, right? like, yeah. you know. No. Yeah. It's and, like, it's like, yeah. yeah. No, I totally agree. It's like, whose dick is bigger? Like, we always yes. be like. <laughs> yes, you said it. Like, uh, <laughs> we, we, we know well, we that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'm sure followers do too. But, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> oh, my <laughs> gosh. I will say this and we're beyond grateful that you were that you reached out to us yes because it's the one thing that we feel is lacking in our community which we love our community has been nothing but very supportive loving and just nurturing um and then but at the same time we do have some you know some negative uh feedback um but 
but that always just comes with, you know, something that is, that is, uh, I wouldn't say new, but uh, when you're um, showing and expressing a different side of what is portrayed in our community, mm -hmm. I mean, there are open, and we are firm, when I say this, I don't want to come off in a negative way. We are firm believers that love is love. Yes. It comes in different forms and shapes and, 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 uh, and levels. Um, and no, no relationship is better than or greater than another, mm -hmm. simply because of the way you love. Love is love. Mm -hmm. And but for us, we are so open with our relationship and our family, because we didn't have that growing up. Exactly. We don't have the monogamous couple, uh, you know, men, gay men relationship. What we see um is you know open relationships and party here and drugs here and yeah. and 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 you know and not to say that we don't go to parties and, and stuff we which go we, to our we, parties and everything right. else but it's but like the, it's like the, the the point is is that just thinking back to when i was in middle school and high school uh and you know and looking at okay you know everyone has an idea of what they want for their future what they want for their life and me and my humble traumatic self and you know i want it what you know every little girl wants you know yeah she want, i wanted the fairy tale story i wanted the you know the white picket fence i yep. wanted the, you know fairy tale wedding i wanted someone who who, who you know is head or moons uh of head or heels in love with me and only me and you know i you know i'm, I'm there i'm their, their, their king their prince and you know, just want to lift me up it's like i wanted what i would see you know in the movies and the, and, and all these films that make me cry because i did as a kid too <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah and, so and, but it wasn't but it was only um for the uh, heterosexual couples it wasn't oh. any of that at that time being shown uh for anyone in the lgbt community as as having that type of life and it's like well in order it's like in order to be lgbt it's like you have to sacrifice that and it's like okay well so it's like I'm, i i have to adapt to a certain scene or uh, to a certain lifestyle it's yeah. like yeah it, it's nothing wrong with any of this lifestyle there's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with my lifestyle but my lifestyle isn't right for someone just how that lifestyle isn't right for me so right. why is a certain lifestyle the only thing we're seeing mm -hmm. it's like and so just how i wish that i had uh someone like us to, to actually log on and be like okay it's like here's a, this is a couple that i this is what i want to aspire and there's plenty of people who's like no i want to be don't i want to freaking be partying and getting all the dudes i want and shit at one point that was me i had did one <laughs> <laughs> but 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 there's plenty who's like no i that's not what i want i don't see that i don't want that i want the cheesy white picket fence sitting there with your dog what are you doing on your Saturday night? We're sitting in front of TV, watching cartoons on Netflix, eating a bowl of cereal. That's oh, our Saturday night. Big mouth. Yeah. Big mouth. Watching Big Mouth. Well, yeah. because we're not, we're already finished Rick and Morty. We finished all the other. <laughs> and then RuPaul's not around. And RuPaul's, but it's coming back January 7th. Yeah. So. That's like, RuPaul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and 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 freaking shout out to freaking We're Here, which is the best oh show that God, we've been on. Oh, that show is so I, important to our community. Please, very much. Please so it, it puts us in such a positive oh light. Oh my God, I love that show. It is. It makes me cry every every, every single episode, episode. We're crying. That's every, that's the only one. that's the only show that's made me cry every episode. Since every Pose. Episode. Wow. Pose, every episode. Yeah, Pose was iconic. Pose yeah. was iconic. Oh, iconic. That was that was huge for our community as well. So yes. we want, yeah. So we like I said, we're just we said we're just very grateful. We are yeah. beyond grateful for all the love and and that we that we are given um and and if anybody which we do we do get if anybody has just you know questions or needs to vent or like hey you know um, how did you guys get to here please hit us up dm us because we are always do our, we always do our best to respond um tell them where to find you tell them i'm gonna put it all on the link but say it out loud yeah. tell them where they can find you all your links and socials yeah, so we both have our individual Instagram accounts, and then we have a joint. So mine is fitmerse15 at, mm -hmm. oh, well, that's my email, but fitmerse15, fit mm -hmm. and yours is fitexec12, yeah. and then and that's our, our Instagram, and that's yeah. Instagram, and our joint is more, spelled A-M-O-R, mm -hmm. unconditional. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put it all in the, the link. I just wanted them to. Uh, and then our, we'll have our wedding link. 
the wedding link. Yeah, if you don't have that, we'll shoot that out. Yeah, you got to shoot that to me after. Yeah, I got to put the wedding link. We'll shoot that to you right after. And and, Um, uh, please know that you're invited. I knew you were invited. Please, please, please. please, please. (laughs) Well, I thought that was awesome. Right, yeah. I was like, oh, damn, we're going to get our guests. We're going to, you know, the attire. So, I mean. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, trust me. I got to do one more. color that we're in pure earth tones, the pop of color we're using is teal. Yes. Okay, teal. Oh, I, I have. Oh, I look good in teal too. <laughs> oh yeah. And yeah. Most people do. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen anyone look bad in teal. No. no. I wear my good hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now my Beyonce <laughs> hair. Beyonce I got that Beyonce Ooh, hair. Beyonce blonde. Oh yeah. Beyonce blonde with teal. Oh yeah. That sounds good. That does. Yeah. Beyonce blonde with teal. I ain't wearing no blonde with no teal. <laughs> you crazy? <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> I'm a raven beauty. Like I wear blondes, but I'm a raven beauty. I love the. Bl- it's so funny because people don't understand that. Like I like the black hair because of the story with the raven. Nevermore. The raven yeah. always kept saying nevermore. I, that's me. Nevermore. Have you? Uh, what's what's it? It's this. It's 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 old old school. Uh, Janet Jackson. Um, it's you can't get the lyric right now but she's the whole the whole video she's like in this it's just, it's like water and she's more yeah she has this long black wavy hair with like these blue contacts oh, every time every, every time, time. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 like and i remember i i, I used to, when i was a kid i used to stare at her hair she's like it's just had this wet look the whole time <laughs> yeah oh, it was gorgeous yeah. Yeah. shout out to janet like every gay man i had a crush on janet jackson oh every yeah. single one every single every, one everyone Every Everyone. single one. Uh, they still do. And yes. Still do. Yeah. Supposedly, yes. I had a swine, a, 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 a freaking, uh, uh, like a shrine. A shrine. Yeah. Uh-huh. To her on the wall, and, and that's how mom wait, describes wait. it. I don't think it was. It was simply a picture. Did you have candles? I, I like candles. <laughs> okay. It, it was. It so was, was a, candles. No, it's a shrine. It was an altar. It was an altar. It was, it was, it was, it was a <laughs> picture. No, it was a poster. <laughs> but I didn't want to be, you know, basic and just put a poster just boom on a wall. So I, I framed the poster. And I put oh. the poster on a wall and I'm like, well, it could have more. So I put a little shelf under it. You go above and, I, and beyond and everything. Yeah, you yeah. see that? And so <laughs> then I put a candle on either side. Nice, you know, scented candles with some potpourri under her picture. And it was just oh. an artistic touch. Over Very nice. So, oh, yeah, baby. That yeah, state, yeah. Like, yeah, not creepy at all. She would have seen it. <laughs> <laughs> No, it wasn't. I'm like, no, hey, Janet, come to my room. Know. It's cool, just, girl. I'm gay. Yeah. Right? Just, like, just girl, it's fine. Place. I'm gay. Right? Yeah. <laughs> just have a seat on my on my, my bed right there. And I'll serve you whatever you need. Right. <laughs> okay. I, I can cook. I, I can, this is this is before the fire, so I'm like, I can cook you something. <laughs> right. Oh my god. Oh, no. I thank yes. you both for giving thank me you. the time. Thank you. Thank you. And I just, I appreciate this. I'm going to send you a copy of this. I'm going to send you the audio and the video because it, you know, Zoom does both so that you can post it wherever you want, wherever, you know, it doesn't matter because I believe like now that I'm not working by myself, you guys are co-stars. So you got to have, we own it together. And and I'm, I'm fair like that because, you know, me, people are like, oh, you don't need the 15%. Da, da, da. I'm a recording artist. I'm a motivational speaker and I can sing. Let's just say that. I, hey, <laughs> so I got I me. Mean, I'm covered. I'm covered. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm covered. Going to Europe. Yeah, moving to France. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all right. I'm yeah, good. I'm a, but I just, good. I thank you so much because I got to see two people that truly love each other. Yes. And I'm glad it was you guys because I, you guys were the first. I just, I'm so glad. I'm happy where you're first. That's freaking awesome. Yes, yeah. it was, yeah. like, you said, like you said, it was meant to be. And I love at the top of your profile. That was the first thing I noticed, Kurt. It said monogamous, and I was like, wow. And you know, I have, I've have a lot of couples that come on, but I really was missing. I don't, I don't have too many monogamous couples. <laughs> I <Not> don't. Do. <laughs> right? It's like, oh, y'all monogamous? Like, oh. <laughs> oh really no yeah no, the, the, the reaction when we tell it usually like some like when we're a group of our friends and and like oh yeah you you know this is our friends kurt and carlos blah blah mm-hmm. and we're our brothers something and like oh they're not and then in the group oh, like yeah. oh like, right for real why, like, why? <laughs> why? Like, right why? it's like yeah. Um, oh yeah we're sorry <laughs> right you have to apologize for having oh, yeah. monogamous that's crazy yeah, like, but that uh, is the world that we live in today that is the world that we right. live in today. No, yeah, yeah yeah so yeah that's that's exactly what i mean just what we were saying earlier it's just like yeah it's we we love all love we love our couples it's just 
it's like we what works for you works for you so it's just how we yeah. just how we respect different forms of love and your love just mm-hmm. we yeah. just want the same return exactly. yeah. you know yeah don't, don't we don't go ill you know you're in an open relationship so why would you go ooh? you know like it's a bad thing that we're monogamous i feel like it should be celebrated just as well as anything yeah else, right? It definitely, and that was my my job today was to celebrate it, you know. You. Before yes. now, before y'all Very go, much. before y'all go, y'all got to bring the puppy back into the picture because oh, she was oh, like, <laughs> she was oh, like, look here now, y'all got to bring the puppy back in. Look, look now she's like, is it all right? Are y'all sure? <laughs> Come on, look, look at her ears. She like, are you sure? <laughs> there, you there we go. <laughs> there we go. Thank you all for sharing you. your family with me. And I just appreciate it. And I just wish you the best. I wish thank you. you thank you so much. October 18th. My we're, pleasure. We're, we're expect you there. I, yes. I, listen, if I show up in my Diana Ross wig, don't worry, I'm not going to do that. You see, no, 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 no. Ah, <laughs> you see his face, his face was like, that doesn't go. She's going to block the flowers. No, I don't She's gonna care. Block the flowers. You, you, as long as she wore the, the colors, we don't care. It's just if you, if you come here, Diana Ross wig, we're going to expect you to perform. <laughs> Oh, right, right. Okay, I better leave the Diana It's like now presenting. Ah! <laughs> now let me leave the Diana Ross wig home then. Let me leave home. Cause, I, Cause I just want to come and enjoy. So yes. yeah. Please do, Thank yes, please. So Thank much. you. Thank you so, so much. Thank me, you. Shoot me the link so that everybody that wants to, you know, and I'll I'll take and put the links to everything in the description section. Okay. I love and uh, happy holidays. Yes. Same Don't be a stranger. You. You, right. Yes, shoot us please. a message. Oh, please. Both of you have thumbs on on your pages. I will be on these pages great quite often. And so will everybody else. I had to look again like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. And thank I'll you talk so to you much. later. Okay. Love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. We love you too. Bye.